ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the soon to be most requested commencement speaker in the history of the United States of America. Morehouse, you are surrounded by a community of people who have helped you arrive at this sacred place and on this sacred day. On behalf of the eight generations of my family who have been in this country, we're going to put a little fuel in your bus. Now, I've got the alumni over there, and this is a challenge to you, alumni. This is my class, 2019. Okay, why does it look like two completely different? Like, I know, like, different cameras, different angles, and everything else like that, but it really does look like they photoshopped in the, um, like, this looks like cut footage. Like, I mean, it naturally is, it is cut footage, but they look like they photoshopped in the reaction as opposed to it taking all take place at the same place. But. Why'd you do this to yourself, fam? Why'd you do this to yourself? Because you know, this is how our community operates. Over the next two to three years, he getting asked by everybody. Every single HCBU is going, <laughs> I mean, HBCU is going to be hitting them up. Like, hey, you know, uh, can you come on over here to Norfolk State? Can you come on over here to Spellman? Part particularly Spellman. I guess see Spellman. <laughs> What, what are you talking about? <laughs> because they're going to be demanding that, uh, you know, the women get the uh, get the same type of uh, treatment. But this is actually fantastic. I mean, it really is, man. I'm happy. I'm happy for these guys. Yeah, that's the end of USA Today's video. But real talk, this is uh, fantastic. I mean, if I was a billionaire. I don't know if I do all that, but it does also speak to because they said that the estimates were about forty million dollars, and that's just ridiculous. How much people are forced to go into debt in order to try and make a better life for themselves, you know? Particularly when we live in a time where most jobs, let's be real, like probably about sixty, I high end seventy percent of jobs don't even really need a college degree i mean i'm talking about the trades i'm talking about like in particular when it comes to bureaucracy because that's where a huge uh sector of the workforce comes from it's from like you know the public sector government jobs and things like that and so you know the student loan crisis is a very true crisis you sat here for 20 30 kid 20 30 uh generate the years 20 or 30 years just demanding that kids go to school gets good and kids get their education which is a super important thing but kids go to college and a not everybody's built for college b a lot of these studies are complete bs like i'm still my mind's still blown about the whole gender studies thing but to see uh this gentleman really take charge and uh do something legitimate for these young men is fantastic and so he can expect invitation after invitation after invitation for the next few years begging him to come through and give them a commencement speech <laughs> which i just want very very hilarious but yeah i wanted to take some time out and definitely commend mr smith for this generous um relief i had to search for the word because you know i don't want to call it an offer or anything else like that but this is a generous relief for these uh young men entering the real world because those student loan debts are no joke and with the current um admin they're not the student like i've recently read that student loan debt forgiveness is like a 99 percent um nah it's not happening you know so really good on him this is fantastic and you know let me know what you think down in the comments do all the internet stuff like if you like the video sub if you like my fantastic voice share because hey this is this actually is worth sharing but you know everybody and their mother's been talking about it so 
that's kind of why I decided to talk about it a little bit and uh, speak, you know, I mean, you do you expect not, not only, you know, HBCUs, but maybe like, you know, Yale, Harvard, he can calls from everywhere like, yo, come on through, you know, Essex County College is going to call him like, yeah, by all means, come be a commencement speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I personally wouldn't do it to myself, but I'm also not a billionaire who can probably have people screen his calls until the next video.